Authorities in Alaska are investigating the mysterious death of newly elected Juneau Mayor Greg Fisk. His body was found at his home by his son on Monday. Fisk's death has rattled Juneau, who elected him mayor in October with nearly two-thirds of the vote. The police chief says Fisk was injured but would not discuss the nature of those injuries. Investigators also said there was nothing to indicate Fisk killed himself. Liz Raines from KTVA in Anchorage is on the phone. So, Liz, what is the latest? Have they done an autopsy or is that still in the works? Well, that autopsy is still in the works. Uh, we're told that uh, his body has arrived in Anchorage. They're looking at performing that tomorrow, and we're expecting some results within the next few days. Police, of course, tell us that they're waiting for the results of that autopsy before they can rule anything out. So in the absence of the police saying anything conclusive, there's been a whole lot of speculation and conjecture out there that this is somehow related to the election. Is there any basis for that? Was this kind of a normal election, or was there something going on in terms of the political circles there in Juneau? This is actually a quite amicable, um, uh, amicable election. Uh, we were told it was very friendly. Uh, we actually talked to uh, his opponent, uh, Meryl Sanford, and he had nothing but good things to say, of course, um, about Mayor Fisk. And um, even during the race, uh, you know, said great things, praised him for his dedication to Juneau, praised him as being a good Southeast Alaskan, having uh, Southeast Alaska's interests at heart. Um, so at this point, we, we haven't heard anything um, from anybody that would indicate that someone would, would uh, want to hurt Mayor Fisk. Um, we did talk to a neighbor who uh, knows Mayor Fisk's house quite well and said that he put in a, a steep staircase coming down from his office down to the front room where that body was found. Uh, we actually we could see through the inside of the house where that staircase comes down right um, in front of the door there. And so the neighbor suspects that you know maybe he fell down the staircase. That's one theory that we're hearing. Um, of course, police could not confirm or deny um, where his body was found in relation to the staircase. So uh, it's just speculation at this point. And, you know, obviously a lot of people are thinking the worst here in terms of foul play. But as you mentioned, this could be as simple as him falling down the stairs that he installed in his house. Or is there anything to rule out that he simply had a heart attack or died of any number of natural causes? That's right. At this point, uh, it's just a lot of speculation. Um, uh, you know, there we did hear that he sustained injuries, um, and so t to that extent, you know, it seems like that could match up with a theory that maybe he fell down the stairs. It's certainly at this point, in, in talking to people in the community and talking to those who, who knew him quite well, it, it doesn't sound like uh, there was a particular group or individual that harbored, um, you know, uh, harsh feelings for Mayor Fisk. Uh, he seemed to be quite popular in the community. And of course, Juneau is a small town um, described as a very calm, quiet community and uh, certainly not used to, um, you know, having uh, investigations of, of this nature, um, you know, as far as homicides. So it, it would come to us as a shock to, I think, many in the community. All right. Liz Rains in Alaska, thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks for having me.